Hey there, it's Walt. So we get asked a question fairly frequently, and I wanted to share some thoughts as to how we go through the analysis when we are grappling with the very same question. And the question is, should I take this workshop, go to this event, enroll in this program, buy this product? And as people who are on the journey to success, as people who are looking to deepen our knowledge to do the work we're called to do in the world, there are a lot of opportunities that come to us that look attractive. So here's how we think about it. So first and foremost, let me draw the distinction between professional development and other areas of your life. So, you know, you may be interested in um, a physical challenge. You know, we enrolled back in the fall in a 21-day hip opening challenge that we've done for many cycles of 21 days. Or you may have an interest in impressionist art, or you may have a desire to uh, study a particular area of geography or history. That's just fine. Whatever feeds your heart and soul, that's, that's important to do. With respect to the professional development, however, one of the things that gets in the way, and it's a big warning for us, is that Sometimes, in fact, quite frequently, enrolling in products and programs and certifications can be an impediment to your doing the work in the world. Because when you're getting products and programs and enrolling in events and going to places and doing things, who can fault you really if you're not doing the work in the world? Because kind of looks like you're getting ready to do the work in the world. And the downside of products and programs and certifications and events is that it keeps you on the sideline. It keeps you safe as opposed to really going out into the world and getting uncomfortable and making mistakes and moving forward with the work so that you can make the impact that you want to make and serve the people who are waiting for you the products and programs and events and workshops and certifications that, that keeps you on the sideline and really kind of safe, not doing the work. And so the way we've always thought about it for ourselves is that we want to be out doing the work. And like so much in this work that we do, we talk about this a lot of times, the market will give you feedback as to what you might need next. So it might be, as it was for me, I, I saw a value for the work I was doing as a result of the fundamental training that I had gotten that some training in NLP would be valuable. And so I went out and I got that training in NLP. I also had a lot of head trash around selling and marketing. And so it made sense for me to become a student and to go out and get some additional training around marketing and selling. I continue to be on the path uh, of personal and professional development as, as we encourage all of you to be on the path of personal and professional development. And one of the areas that I'm going deeper on right now is copywriting. Because I, even though I'm a good copywriter, I want to, I know how important it is to communicate well with the people that we serve. And so the, the way we filter the question, should we do this event or enroll in this program or get this training is, will it help us deepen the work that we do? Will it move the work forward? Will it help us serve the people that we are meant to serve in the world? So I want to encourage you to at least do that threshold analysis. Am I going to this product or program or workshop simply to buy some more time for myself while I stay safe on the sidelines? 
or am I enrolling this project or program or event or workshop or getting this certification so that I can deepen the work I'm already doing because I hear from my people, I hear from my market that I really ought to be deepening this understanding. So I hope that helps. There's so much stuff out in the world to take advantage of and we can only take advantage of so much at, at, at one time. And so I think having some filter that allows you to, to assess the opportunities might be helpful. So make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Bye for now.